everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Eluna is having second anniversary merch, as we know. Uh, it's going to be starting on July 18th at 7 p.m. Um, and the 19th at 11 a.m. JST. So here we have the, the announcing Luna's anniversary. They're having uh, Scarlet Yonaguni, Aya Mare, Mario Marinette, Aster Arcadia, Ren Zotto. They're all having their merchandise there. Be the uh, acrylic stands, badges, random snapshot card, autograph board, acrylic light stick produced by Mario Marinette, book-shaped pouch produced by Aya Mare, cushion produced by Aster Arcadia. I don't know what these mean by produced. Did they actually like make the design? Is a design actually produced by them? That is a weird verbiage that I'm not sure of when it comes to this. Uh, you're getting Scarlet merch. We're taking a look at this. It's the, uh, you know, the standees, which is normal, has 1,800 yen, which is about maybe 10 bucks, I think. Then you have the badges, which is a normal thing as well. You have the random snapshot cards of everybody. You have the autograph board. Hopefully it's actually autographed, like, you know, the actual live autographs, or if it's a um, autograph reproduction, then they should name it that. The Acritic Light Stick, uh, produced by Maria Marionette. That's the thing. I don't know. Maria Marionette. I don't know if this is like they actually designed it or if they just named, they called it produced because that is just, you know, something that is for, for their fan base. The Scarla one here, the Scarla cushion. The, uh, I mean, this is the, the, the Renzotto cushion, but the Scarla necklace is 3,500 yen, which is about tw uh, like 20 bucks, I think. Just about 20 bucks, I think, around there. $20, $21, then you have this one, the headband, which is interesting. And you have the plushies, which the plushies are cute. I'm not going to lie. They are very cute. I like these plushies. They're cute. I'm not a needy Sandy sister. Not, I'm not going to buy them because I don't want to support the company. Because remember, 98% of this goes to Nidhi Sanji. So that's one of the reasons why I will not support and I will not actually go and buy it. Because 98% of this is going to the talents it, then I would buy. But 98% of this is going to just Nidhi Sanji, which means I'm not going to buy, which means it's not worth it for me. Like if, if they had, even if I didn't like Nidhi Sanji, but like I wanted to support like say Scarla, then I, and it, I knew like 70, 80% went to the talents. Then I might just bite the bullet and like bite my, my, my lip and maybe do it to give Scarla a little bit of money. But no, 98% goes to Nidhi Sanji, which means that I'm not going to put a damn dime into this thing. Not really on topic, but this reminded me of Obsidia's anniversaries tomorrow and Petra and Rosemi have not posted anything about what they're doing. I mean, usually they post up 24 hours in advance to give you a heads up. This time, nothing. They both mentally checked out months ago, probably around the time they announced on Twitter that nearly all the AR live content would be cut. The only way either of them does anything tomorrow is if the company forces them to, which they may actually have to force them to. Uh, nobody made a post about it, but apparently Obsidia is about to start selling their anniversary merch as well. So more merch, more merch, more merch, more merch. So yeah, Obsidia is selling their merch here. It's also very cute stuff here. Of course, I, like I said, I support Petra and Rosemi, but not in this case because of the fact it's Nidhi Sanji merch overall. And that's something that I can't in good conscience support. Penalize saw on brand that aside, it's good to see some things beside the usual trash merch, acrylics, badges, etc. Problem is at the moment, it feels too little, too late. It really does. And the, like I said, the market share, the, the uh, profit sharing is not really good for the talents. Here we have some more numbers just on the base of everything. We have Niji EN's live streaming viewers did not reach 1K. Have the Niji fans completely abandoned them? Let's take a look at what these people are saying. Uh, Aya Amare, 304, which I think is the regular that she usually has. Uh, Haruka, which is a Japanese viewer, a person that I don't know whether or not they get a lot of views, honestly. For Minecraft, uh, some people like it, some people don't. So I can understand. 238 watching. Uh, teach me Spanish. Remu from Dopio Drop Site. Dopio might be something that's not, not as popular. Uh, so 558 is still pretty, it's pretty damn good. Anna Alouette. 727 seems way lower than her normal. But then again, I'm not an Anna viewer, so you guys let me know down in the comments if it's normal or not okay violetta almost a thousand rhythm heaven looks like it it might be one of those that is not very well liked so that could be a reason for it or it could just be that they're part of a bad company that is no longer supporting them it could very well be that second part more than anything but we don't know we don't know we won't know because well you know the viewership can change drastically from one day to the next says Niji fans are busy tweeting. <laughs> That's kind of funny right there. I uh, also noticed almost every single time Niji EN tweets, it will get 5k likes minimum, but it doesn't translate to their CCV at all. And that's something that, that I've noticed 
I mean, it could very well be that's just, you know, Twitter being Twitter because Twitter doesn't always translate to CCV. Not always. Sometimes it does, but a lot of times it doesn't. Yes, my favorite Ian Liver, Onomachi Haruka. For all its worth, she was very active in posting in the old Nidhi subreddit and she was good friends with Petra. That's the thing. Uh, it, it, it had one Japanese liver in there. I moved my Vox subscription to Crimson Ruse. A ruse. Uh, the black street screen stream broke the illusion hard for me, and that's the thing. I'm getting. I've gotten flack for you know being mean to Vox or whatever, or supposedly hating Vox. I don't hate Vox. I criticize him rightfully so for the things he did on the black screen stream and the personality that he showed through that stream and through the things that he said there. He showed a very negative personality and he showed a very negative part of himself and he's going to continue to get criticized by me until things get until he apologizes or things change in the way that he acts now i've been that way for a while low ccv aside aside from a few like scarla everyone's getting almost no supas the fans may not may not have had bad intentions to abandon them initially but once they tasted better quality livers and talents they may have jumped the ship entirely Toxicity within Niji becomes really evident once you step away from them, especially when you compare them to Hollow. It's like night and day. And that's the thing that people are seeing. They're seeing that, yes, uh, you know, you can still have your Oshis, but a lot of toxicity still exists there, not only within the fandom and other things like that. So if you're a fan, you could love the Liver, then you try to get into the fandom and it's all toxic, you're not going to want to be there and you're probably going to want to leave. Another meme, another day. Uh, honestly, the three of them are better off without her. Illyra, looking like the, the Squidward and SpongeBob with... Uh, Patrick and SpongeBob and Patrick having a good time, enjoying themselves. Squidward just looking off at them. But this was different, you know. This this makes sense. Elira's looking at Mint, Doki, and Matara just having fun. And Elira probably is, you know, still raking in the money, to be honest. But yeah, it's it's a nice, it's a nice meme. I love it. My answer to this person, do people still watch or support Petra Gurin? A lot of people do. Uh, for a while now, I've seen most people supporting Rosemi, but not that much support for other genmate Petra. Since Petra is part of Obsidia, you would think that she would have the same support as Rosemi. No, I mean, even if they're part of the same gen, some people are going to like them, some people won't. Some people are going to support them. A lot of people won't. Like, people will go and support the same gens a lot of times, but they'll also be like, eh, you know, I prefer Rosemi because of her, her attitude and her this and that, but they won't support uh, Petra for the same things. I don't watch Petra anymore, but I don't have anything against her. Like, as I've said before, in many of my other videos, Petra does not seem to have any, like, severe things happening. The only kind of faux pas that she did, the only kind of snafu that she had was in her, uh, birthday stream she had a riku cutout that was part of a joke i think and if she likes riku that's up to her that's her personal belief and i'm not going to be the one to be telling people what to believe or what not to believe she made herself clear that she's the one of livers who's not going to quit anytime soon like medical she totally would benefit if en is to just be folded into jp this is not a reason to hate her by the way i'm only saying i'm treating her like a jp liver now she collabs with any other vtubers i liked i'm fine with watching her no problem but i'm not interested in watching her solo streams anymore i think that's one thing that's one thing that I think a lot of people agree on. I think people are most vocally supporting Rosemi compared to Petra because Petra has more of a JP following than Rosemi since she moved to Japan. Also, she didn't hang out with Doki much compared to Rosemi, so there's that too. Oh, Doki, well, is Selene when she was in there. And to answer the question, I used to watch her back when Obsidia debuted, but I just kind of stopped watching her for a while for no reason. Then she eventually moved into Japan, and I couldn't really watch her anyways because of the time slots. Uh... And now I watched Nobody Niji since February and spent my time watching Mint and Doki instead. Yes, a lot of people will watch uh, their favorites for one reason or another. Sometimes, you, like like it's been said, like this person said here, the schedules just don't match. Other times, the vibe doesn't match. You have to have a vibe with the person that you're following a lot of times. I mean, that's that's me. I, I try to vibe with the people that I follow that I uh, watch as well. So if there's no vibe there, then I'm not going to be someone who's going to uh, support them. Just because they're not a vibe. Over here, what livers would y'all support if they left? I would support, well, you know, I have supported every freaking liver that's left so far. I'm just interested in knowing where people stand at certain livers. The Rosami, Albin, Vera, Dopio, Shu, Vanta, and probably a couple more, like Scarla. Scarla for me is one of them. Rosami, she's one left. And she's the only one left that I was actually subbed to and watched in Niji. Others were Selene and Pomu. Literal, same for me, though I'd probably add VV too. Yeah, if VV left, Kunai left. Any one of those left, Twisty, Clara, I would absolutely support them. Rosami, Scarla, Vivi, Kunai are the ones that would continue to follow if possible. Definitely Rosami, she seems very cute and very nice. She seems like a genuinely nice person, like Scarla does. Yes, Scarla is someone that I find as a genuinely nice person who just, you know, has her wild side, has her crazy side, but that's what makes her so endearing. Um, you know, she has her out-of-pocket side, which makes her very endearing to a lot of people who like her. 
Definitely, at the very least, watch uh, ones re debuts. Should they leave Niji? Yes, even the ones everyone hates here, like Vox, Ilira, Uki. I'm curious to see if Niji forced them to terrible choices or if they were always just awful people. Hopefully, the former. Yeah, if people reform when they leave Niji, because you know it's it's a contract thing, whatever. If they reform when they leave Niji, they properly apologize when they leave Niji. Even Ike, Vox, and Ilira can have their redemption. You know, if they if they show actually wanting to change and they show some actual change going on, then yes, I can see that as, you know, a redemption for them. Rosami, she was the only girl in the Selene poem with Nina, etc. So yeah, a lot of the ones who've already left were good people. And the ones that are going to leave, if they do leave, then of course I will support. And I, you know, you guys can support or not, but you know, I will support them in the way that I'm supporting the current ones that have left. For everyone who doesn't know, it is a thing that happened to Numi when they went to Los Angeles, I believe for Anime Expo. They had, yeah, this was during Anime Expo. Uh, maybe they to my meet and greet, got robbed. Uh, track this B, I'm about to pull up. And but the police did nothing. Police did nothing. So that's the whole thing about this. It did happen on the 6th. It has been over 10 days. I'm pretty sure they didn't get their stuff back because as long as there was, like I mentioned before, last time I talked about this, as long as there was no actual violence involved in being robbed or anything like that, like if they just took it from a spot that you had it and they just took it from you, uh, the police will do nothing in uh, in Los Angeles or in other large areas. Large cities in general, their police forces will not do anything if there was no actual uh, violence involved. It's just the way that they work. They feel that it's not not important enough, not, you know, strong enough, not something that they should actually be going after. It sucks when this happens, happened to a buddy of mine years back, stole his phone at a store while he was trying to pair shoes, tracks it to their house, cops refused to enter or even try to get a warrant despite tracking being live and accurate to show it was in their house. I think the video posted on a channel has all the context. So find it weird that the cops didn't advise to call credit card company to freeze it. I know I watched it, but I, didn't, I know what happened. I want to know what happened afterwards. Hopefully she got her stuff back. Most useful cops. She probably just, you know, canceled all the credit cards, had them frozen to make sure that at the very least stuff doesn't get stolen. Like, you know, her actual uh, stuff doesn't get, uh, you know, people don't actually use it all, all of her credit for all these horrible, you know, horrible or wonderful things for them. Who knows? But you don't want your credit being spent on something that you aren't actually getting benefits from. So that's the Numi situation. Announcement with Myth Phantom is in the description of Doki's upcoming stream. The pinned message in chat says announcement will be near the end of the stream. So please stick by. <clears throat> Till then, <clears throat> if you want to know what it is, uh, please stick with that to then you know what it is. Also today is that wasn't going to point out the Obsidian anniversary thing, but let's face it between feels like with me, uh, we just met today in the title. Should I just be celebrating something in the description? That's obviously what she's hinting at. Chat seems jokingly think that, the, that her and Mint are getting married, in which case I will offer happy congratulations. So this is something that happened. It's something that, that went on. I am just going to play parts of it because like, I'm not going to- Angle, the perfect camera angle. <laughs> Look at I this, they're on the out. farm. I'm huge chickens. Oh my a lot God, of chickens. chickens. <laughs> Doing a bunch of chicken. Wait, is that a ghost chicken? Holy crap, that's a lot oh of chickens. God, that's a ghost chicken. Wait. Oh my God. God go, look, guys, look, I got, we got strawberry chicken too. Look at it. Strawberry chicken, that's cute. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you just eat the chicken? <laughs> yes. It's gonna die, everybody. Do they say you only live one? You know, they live once. Like the yeah, chicken machine. One. Interesting. Oh. What's the golden Freddy? <laughs> What's the golden Freddy does? It's probably he's here, he's there, he's everywhere. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Wait, I can't do it. Wait, oh. How do you press it? How did you uh, press that? Trying to figure out stuff. Okay, <clears throat> will we get sucked in? Oh, oh. Oh, oh God, got sucked in. <laughs> Oh, she Frogbert! <laughs> Frogbert <laughs> and <laughs> and Donkey Crow. Frogbert and Donkey Crow. Dance for us to show your excitement. Oh, she actually became Frogbert. She actually became Frogbert. <laughs> ah, she's doing her dance. <laughs> oh my God, he's feeling himself. He's he definitely feeling himself. himself. He's touching himself right now. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at he's touching himself right now. That is Doki Bird having fun with uh with Maid Mint, who they've known each other for a while, if you know about their history. It's all good stuff, all fun stuff. They all did that with uh, VR chat. And it is just it is amazing. It's great to look at. Back, it's this is a short little one. Of course, it's kind of like a meme type thing, but um Frogbert. If y'all remember who Frogbert was, it was the lovely fairy that used to be a part of Hollywood or Heaven, or whatever she calls it now. Uh Frogbert is back. I don't know if there it, this this is not an actual like them being Frogbert, but um, if you know, then you know. This was the creation of uh, the little fairy that used to be part of Nidisanji. 
Is he actually going to save his reinforce this time? He finally managed to get Canada with Doki. Let's go. Funny, cute frog doing silly things. Let's go. Frog has such good taste. I'm surprised Hungry Hen Frenchman hasn't eaten their legs yet. If you know the reference, one cookie for you. It's a reference from, of course, the, uh, I'm sure of the fairies, uh, streams. So absolutely, it is interesting to see Frogbert come back because, uh, as I've mentioned earlier in this video, there was a, um, a Pomu, um, slash Maid Mint. Now it's Maid Mint, only color Maid Mint now, and Doki. Uh, reunion type of uh, 3D VR chat type of thing where they were in their own world and they're talking about a bunch of stuff. It happened already. Uh, and yeah, Frogbert was one of them. Welcome everybody to another one of my Salvi's VTuber showcases or VTuber corner, where I try to bring to you small and unknown VTubers who maybe you have missed along the way, trying to give you guys a little bit more of an experience of what is out there in the small VTuber world because you can see, usually see all the big ones out there and the ones who, you know, are being promoted by the big ones. But I want to promote some of the ones that you may not normally see. Today, we have Alex Morana, someone that I popped in seeing through Fenari Mori, which is another creator that is much larger than myself that I watch and has actually also supported small creators. So she is an alien invasion bug. According to what they explain themselves, sci-fi bug VTuber, alien invasion girlfriend. I'm an illustrator and a 3D hobbyist, and I made my own model. So they made their own model. Recently, I picked up voice acting and editing. I'm self-taught. It's um, and have been freelance for about five years. This is their Twitch channel where they are currently uh, streaming. We are we were here together. Let's take a look at some things here of kind of a little bit of a run through. Oh, oh God! Oh no! Oh, no. Alex! Alex! Ah! I'm stuck! Oh god, she's stuck! There's, she's stuck! Oh, wait, can I get the star though? Yeah! Wait, she got saved! She got saved, she got the star! I'm fucking stuck! Help me! Help me! She's, she, can't, she can't get out. <laughs> things like that happen. Those are fun moments. Those are fun things right there. Uh, she has more in her about section here. Some people might call me soft. My name is connected to my art only socials. I'm fine with you calling me by either soft or Alex, whichever you want to know to have them known as. Now, let's take a look at their YouTube channel, which is also like I mentioned, she's a small YouTuber and she has uh, specifically, I want you to see her model. This is her human side, her human model. It has all these things here. It has, you know, the full on things that usually you can't see in most places, the human side of the model. And here is the cryptid or the bug side of the model and everything that she has involved with that. The moving left and right of, of I really, really, really think that is an amazing, amazing um, design and just very expressive, very, very nice. It, it is it is amazing to see these types of things. It really is. And that is, once again, Alex Marana for you on this other VTuber showcase, trying to show you guys something new and something for you guys to enjoy and hopefully take a look at and see if you enjoy their content. Thank you once again, Alex Morana, for being a part of this VTuber showcase. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now, because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.